Carrying the songs. This is dedicated to the two wonderful singers, three, traditional singers, Triana and Mairead Nugona. Uh, there's an epigraph from the singer Frank Hart, who said, those in power write the history, those who suffer write the songs. Uh, I was very moved a number of years ago when I was in Canada to find um, Irish songs being sung, sometimes in a very, the, totally, the, the Irish language was totally degraded, it had become gibberish almost. But uh, the remains of songs like Andrimin Down Dealish, um, still sung in Newfoundland and um, in, on the folk scene in Canada. And I remembered those words of Frank Hart. Another inspiration for this poem was when I heard the story of Trina Nugonal going to Donegal to collect songs from her grandmother and, um, excuse me, from her aunt. And uh, she, this blind aunt had a wonderful collection of songs. Um, some of them came from her mother. And as a young woman, when the young men were going to Scotland as seasonal labourers, they used to ask their guard friends, what, what would you like me to bring you as a present? And um, Trina's grandmother always said, bring me a song. And I thought there was something wonderful about the fact that uh, many, many years later, this whole trove of songs would be carried all over the world by her grandchildren. So, carrying the songs. It was always those with little else to carry who carried the songs to Babylon, to the Mississippi. Some of these last possessed less than nothing, did not own their own bodies. Yet, three centuries later, deep rhythms from Africa stowed in their hearts, their bones, carry the world songs. And for those who left my county, girls from Downings and the Rosses, who followed herring boats north to Shetland, gutting the sea's silver as they went, or boys from Ranafast who took the dairy boat, who slept over a rope in a bossy, songs were their soul's currency, the pure metal of their hearts, to be exchanged for other gold, other songs, which rang out true and bright when flung down on the deal boards of their days. <laughs>